Donkey of the Day. That's pretty fun. Charlemagne the Devil. Possibly. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Donkey today for Monday, May 8th goes to Phaedra Parks. Now, I don't really watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta, but I've been monitoring some of the recent events from this season. And uh, this one particular situation has had my attention. And that one situation was Phaedra Parks telling Portia Williams that Candy Burris and her husband Todd Tucker had planned on drugging Portia in order to take advantage of her sexually. I repeat. Phaedra Parks told Portia that Candy and her husband Todd had planned on drugging Portia in order to take advantage of her sexually, in case you're keeping score. That's rape, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, no other way around it. That is rape. R-A-P-E. All right, Phaedra said that Candy is a rapist. Do we have the audio of Candy flipping out over these allegations? Phaedra, she said I had a sex dungeon. You know, if I had one, I would tell everybody about it because I don't care. Does it really matter? The part that matters, Phaedra, this chick tried to turn it around and said that we tried to drug her. You told someone that you were going to drug me and take me to a sex dungeon. Sheree, do you hear this lie? Oh, 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 oh. Candy has every right to be turned. Mm-hmm. Okay, man, or oh, woman, nobody wants to be labeled a damn rapist, right. especially when we live in an era where nobody cares about the truth if the lie is more entertaining. So everybody named Mama ran with that rumor. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. Who cares? It's a good one. Candy and her husband Todd have a sex dungeon, and they was trying to drug Portia so they could rape her? Who got time for facts and truth when the lie is that amazing? Now, as a friend, if I heard something like that about one of my friends, I would tell them to. I would probably ask them not to repeat it, but I would make them aware. Hey, I heard such and such is trying to drug and rape you. Just watch yourself when you're around them. But Portia decided to bring it up to Candy. Therefore, Candy thought Portia was a bold-faced liar. But last night on the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion, it was a plot twist that many saw coming. Okay, old Portia was hoodwinked. She had been bamboozled when... She found out that the whole, well, we found out that the whole drugging and raping story Portia had was a second-hand false information courtesy of Phaedra Parks. Yes, Phaedra told Portia that that's what she heard with no information to back it up whatsoever. Let's flash back to last night's reunion. To say, repeat and say I would drug somebody. It's just like a multiple levels to that. Both it's of like, them. for one, she, as a person who knows me, knows that I don't do drugs and deal with anything with any drugs. But then on top of that, as an attorney, why would you repeat to say somebody you know would drug somebody? Y'all know how much I care about my business and my brand. Yeah. And y'all got to sit up there and say some shit like that. It's like, to me, it's one thing to say, oh, she messed with this person. She did that. It's like, whatever, whatever. We throw shade, whatever. But drugs? You should understand that drugging somebody while they're drinking it's and rape. taking them home is rape. Y'all accuse me of being a fucking rapist. That's hey, crazy. Did you honestly believe that she would do that? I didn't know that Enough it, to repeat it, it to me as it was it, truth. So you really felt like Todd and Candy wanted to drug me. Enough to lie it, and say that she I'm told you herself. Is, you have to understand how fucked up this is. And how fucked up I've been looking, staying by your side and holding you down, because that's the type of friend that I am. I mean, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't know if it was true or not. But I <laughs> and asked you, was it true? Don't tell me like it's the truth. <laughs> Let the record show, Phaedra Parks is an attorney. Is that perjury? Uh, 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 or it don't count because they're not in the courtroom. Now, when I did watch what happens live earlier this year, Phaedra Parks said to me that she don't be involved in the mess. Because she's an attorney and her mom is some type of political figure in Atlanta, if I remember correctly. So Phaedra was telling me that she don't be into the mess. Well, I know I'm not the highest grade of weed in the dispensary, but this looks and sounds like mess to me. I don't do Real Housewives of Atlanta like that. I just know that I don't like people lying on people for no reason. Lying makes for a great storyline on reality TV, but it's a waste of time in real life, okay? And since I don't watch the show like that, I couldn't properly convey how trifling Phaedra is, so I had to call a friend to do it for me. Uh, Cadillac Kimberly, I want you to explain to us why Phaedra is trifling. Because you can't believe anything she says. Even after the reunion was over, she called me and told me that Portia was stupid and didn't know how to hold her down while the lie came out. So even then, she's still dogging out with who's supposed to be her friend. And even though she talked about Candy going down on everybody, wow. Phaedra may not admit it, but she does too because she always said it was too early in the marriage to be doing that, which means if you've been married longer, then it's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything else you want to add about Phaedra? 
pray that I just, I don't know. I, I hope Jesus does fix it. How about that? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Thank you, Cadillac Kimberly. I love you. I'll be blessed. You're my number one morning show on the radio. Thank, Thank you. you. Who in the okay, hell bye-bye. Want- who in the hell wants an attorney that you can't trust? Mm-mm-mm. You can't represent me if we can't believe a word that comes out of your mouth. Why do these women and men ruin their day jobs for reality TV? Is that real Housewives money worth your reputation and livelihood? Please give Phaedra Park some of the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons, please. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's, let's try to singing. Here we go. You are the donkey of the day. Hee-haw. Hee-haw. Yeah, it was disgusting last night. It was disgusting to see somebody lie like that, and then when they ask her about it, just look at them like they stupid. And a woman whose words, she's supposed to be an honorable individual because she's an attorney. I'm telling you, when I met her, at Watch What Happens Live, and this was behind the scenes. She was like, I don't be in the mess. Oh. I don't get involved in the mess. I don't do the mess. My, I want to say she said her mom's a political do. figure. Oh, the, the, all mess. Portia should have wowed out a little more, though. Now, she should have she should have went crazy on her. Went crazy on her. She lied, have you looking crazy, and then when you ask her about it, she's just like, oh, well. Hell well, Candy no. rightfully was very upset, though. Yeah, Those been. accusations against her are... Uh, tremendous. Right. Ain't Phaedra breaking a law though? That's got what's that? Slander or perjury? Which one is it? Yeah, it's like defamation. Yeah, libel. Defamation of character. Yes. Yeah, so, well, defecation of character. Defecation. Defecation. No, I don't know about defecation. Yes, she's, no, no. The Breakfast Club.